Hi guys, welcome to Sunrise Strong with me, Jess. Um, thank you for showing up today. I'm going to leave you through about an hour of vinyasa practice. We'll let you know any kind of modifications, alternatives for poses um, that you might need equipment wise. Um, you'll really just need a block. Um, if you don't have a block, you can always use a blanket and just anything to kind of prop your hips up. And then when we're in actual poses, like if we were like leaning over, you can always just use a water bottle instead of a block. So those are kind of options for that. Also, I like to have a towel nearby um, to put under my knees for any of the like knee kind of thing. I feel like regardless of how thick your mat is, especially um, depending on what your surface is that you're practicing on, it can be hard on your knees. So that's there for you for that. Um, also music. With YouTube, there's a lot of royalty issues with music. So I have a uh, linked for you Apple Music. I have a couple different playlists on there and then Spotify. I have a couple different playlists on there as well. So you can play those um, here in just a minute when we start. If you want to check out my music or feel free to have your own going whatever works best uh, for you. And I think with that we're going to get started. So just block starting seated just helps to open up your hips. And just finding a comfortable seat. If that's cross-legged, if it feels more comfortable for your legs to be out. In yoga, sometimes it's easy, I think, to feel like there's a certain image you have to fit. You have to look exactly like what the teacher is showing or demonstrating. And I want you to know that that's not the case. If you need to do something completely different for me, give yourself that permission. You know, it's, it's easy. I've been the injured person and have gotten frustrated because I can't keep up with exactly what the instructor is doing. And I understand it's easy to say, do your own thing but I really mean do your own thing. I would rather you be able to get through the practice and have to modify the entire thing than not um, do it all. So there are a few of my people out there that I know are injured right now, so I might be speaking to you a little bit to encourage you, but it's a good reminder for us always to not feel like we have to be exact a certain way we practice every time. So that's my little spiel for you. Let's get started. Finding the comfortable seat, however it looks, and just closing your eyes down. You can rest your palms on your knees or flip them up and rest them in your hip crease. And just bringing awareness into your breath. Go ahead and take a full body scan, seeing how you feel. Might be first thing in the morning and your body is just waking up. This might be your lunchtime break that you've been sitting at a desk or chasing kids around. Whatever time of day, just Bring that awareness to your breath, awareness to how your body feels. You want to add in that Ujjayi Pranayama. That victorious heat building breath, you can start to breathe in through your nose and out 
through your nose, making that ocean wave sound in the back of your throat. But know if you're somebody who overheats quickly, this just might not be for you, and that's okay. You could take a few breaths like this, and then return to normal breath. Just doing what works for you. Good. Two more good breaths. And then release your arms down by your side. We're just going to start with some shoulder shrugs. So sh shrugging your shoulders up and then releasing them down. You're going to shrug them up. Exhale, release them down. Inhale, shrug them up. Exhale, release them down. Inhale, shrug up. Exhale, release down. Then inhale, bring arms all the way up. And interlacing those fingers. Exhale, press your palms. Up to the sky, inhaling, and exhaling, nice gentle side bend over to the right, inhaling through center, exhaling over to the left, just gentle here in the beginning, inhaling through center, exhale, release those hands, re-interlace behind your back, really press your knuckles down to the earth. And lift up with your chest. Shine your heart through. And then bringing those palms over to your right hip. Looking over your left shoulder. And then bring it through center. This time the hands coming over to the left hip. Looking over that right shoulder. Just nice and gentle here. And back through center release. Taking that again, inhale, nice big breath all the way up. Interlacing those fingers, exhale, press up. Maybe let your head drop back a little bit, opening up those shoulders. Inhale here, and exhale, bending over to the right. Maybe getting a little deeper this time. You can look up under that left arm. Or you can look down at the ground, just depending on where your neck is at. And coming back through center. And with an exhale over to the left. Still really pressing through those palms, feeling that nice long stretch through your side body. And then turning that head up. Or turning it to face down. Again, just depending on how your neck feels, remember both sides are not created equal, so what feels good on one might not feel good on the other. And returning back to center, exhale, release those hands, re-interlace those palms behind your back. Again, shine that heart through, you can let that head drop back if it feels okay. And if you drop that neck, bring it back. Hands come over to that right hip. They're still in your lace. You're looking over that left shoulder. You can look up, straight over. You can turn your head down to look at the mat. Or if you want to look up, if it feels all right. Lots of variations here. And bring it back to center. And with an exhale, cut the hands come over to that left hip, still in your lace, looking over that right shoulder. Again, options to so just keep looking straight over that shoulder. Or to turn your eyes down. Or to bring it up. And returning through center. Bring your arms by your side. We're going to interlace our fingers and push them straight out in front of you. Tuck your chin down. Just kind of round through the spine. Warming it up. Just adding some movement. 
and then releasing those hands, we're going to move the block out from under, stay in your comfortable seat, just a couple more movements here just to continue that warm up. So right hand is going to come down to the mat, left arm is going to reach up and over, really elongating through that top arm. Again, you can look up under that top arm, keep looking forward or just look down at that right hand. Inhale it back through center. Exhale, left hand down, right reaches over. Those the options to look up and under that top arm, to look straight forward or down at that bottom arm. And bringing it back, hands on knees. We're going to take some spotty circles, it's going in one direction, and then reverse, take it in the other direction. Again, we're just really loosening up, warming up the body, doing a lot of extra sitting and all of that right now. And so things are, our bodies are just different than what they were six or eight weeks ago. So, if you're ready, let's, we're gonna start on hands and knees. I'm gonna go ahead and get my towel out for my knees. And let's just take five rounds of cat cow. Taking it your own pace. And feel free to add any movements if you wanna make it dramatic and kind of bring it one hip to the side and then the other. You can draw some nice circles with your body. Take what you need here. You have about three more breaths. One more breath. And returning to neutral. Making sure those hands are right about underneath your shoulders. And we're going to start just by taking that right leg back. Toes are on the mat. We're going to start with the calf stretch first. So really just pressing that heel back towards that wall behind you, like you were stepping on the wall. And just stretching out that heel. And with an inhale, we're gonna lift it up, nice and long, really reaching out, pressing through that heel. And we're gonna take that right foot over to the left side, and you're just gonna get that side body stretch. This might be enough right here, you might feel it. Otherwise, look over at that left foot that's long behind you. You'll feel that stretch through the IT bands, opening up through the side body a little bit more. And bringing it back through center, extend that left arm, spinal balance. Reaching in opposite directions. And with an inhale, tuck elbow to knee. Exhale, send it out. Inhale, tuck it all in. Exhale, send it out. One more. Inhale. And exhale, straight out. And set it down. Neutral. Go through a couple cats. Cows, just to stretch that out. Maybe adding in those circles again. And then we'll return to neutral spine. Left leg steps back this time. Remember, toes down, going for that calf stretch first. That heel is really pressing back towards the wall behind you. 
Feeling the stretch. And we'll lift that left leg up and bring it over to the right this time. Pressing again down through that heel. Stay here if this is enough or looking over your right shoulder towards that left foot. Again, opening up through that IT band. Opening up through that lateral side body, through those obliques. And bring it back through center, keep it lifted. And extend that right arm, really reaching in opposite directions. Thumb is up on that top right hand. Left heel is really pressing back. Good. Inhale, touch knee to elbow. Exhale, send it back out. Inhale, round it. Exhale, back out. Inhale, round. Exhale, out. Hold. And set it down. Last time, through some cat-cows, rounding through that spine. Any of those mo movements you feel like you need. And we'll take it back. To start, let's go knees wide for a child's pose. Really sit down in between your legs. Let your low back release. Letting that forehead rest down on the mat. Reaching those fingertips out long. Pressing those shoulders down into the earth. And taking those hands, walking them over to the right. If it feels okay, taking that left hand on top of the right. Breathe in here. Good. Return back through center. And over to the left. Hands walk over to the left. Again, if it feels okay, bringing that right hand on top of the left. Really, again, opening up through that side body. And bring it back through center. And coming back up through your box. And lifting those heels up, we're going to slowly lower halfway down. Inhale, push up. Slowly lower. Exhale, push up. One more. Slowly lower. Bring those elbows right by your side. Push it up. And this time, slowly lower yourself all the way down to the mat. Release your feet. Lift up, baby cobra. Exhale, release it down. Inhaling back up through your box. And we'll push back into our first downward facing dog. Five breaths here in this first down dog. You can walk your dog. You can hold it still if um, you're ready and you want to go ahead and take an inversion, go ahead. Feet can lift from the ground. This is your opportunity just to kind of really get into your practice. We're going to start working into the heat of things right now. So now is your opportunity. Play around. You've got about three more breaths here. Two more breaths.
One more. And when you're ready, return back to your down dog with you. Your feet left the ground, coming into that stillness. And we're going to lift up one leg at a time and step it down in front of the other as we walk up the mat. So left leg lifts, step in front of that right foot, right foot lifts, step it in front of the left, left lifts, step in front of the right, right lifts, step it in front of the left, should be almost at the top, left lifts, and step it beside. If you're not there, go ahead and work your way up to your forward fold. And with an inhale, hands to shins or the floor, halfway lift. Exhale, release it down. Inhale, rising all the way up to mountain. And with an exhale, closing those hands down at heart. Now it's the time to go ahead and just set the intention for today's practice. Like I tried to mention in all of my classes, it can be something that you surely want to work on for the next hour. It can be um, something that maybe you want your whole week to focus on, maybe your month, maybe you're just something you're trying to work through. So just go ahead and find just that little nugget of something that you can use in reference to during this practice. Good, with an inhale, reach your arms up, right wrist grabs left wrist and pull it over to the right. And we're gonna take a nice scoop all the way down to the bottom of your mat. Lift it up through that left, pulling up with that right side and bring it back center. Let's do that again, bending it over to the right, scooping it down to the bottom, and then using that right side body to lift up and pull that stretch. Good, drop those elbows, open up through the chest, and inhaling back up top. Switching out this time, left, grab to right, and pulling over to the left, hold for the stretch first. And with an exhale, pull it all the way down, scooping down the bottom of your mat. This time, left side body pulls up along the right, and you're back through center. Good, again, over to the left, holding that stretch first. And with an exhale, rolling it all the way down, scooping it, pulling it around that left side body and lifting back up, drop those elbows down, goal post, shine that heart through, inhale, lift up, exhale, forward fold, inhaling, halfway lift, exhale, release, stepping back into that plank, we're going to hold here, and we're just going to take some rocks, rocking forward and back into those heels, forward into those fingertips, Back into the heels. Just stretching it out, warming it up. Warming everything up so you can really engage your different muscles. Squeezing that belly button towards the spine. And then holding still, dropping knees down, lifting up those feet. Good, we're going to take three of those tricep push-ups. So halfway lower, and push it all the way up. Halfway lower, all the way up. One more, halfway lower. Push it all the way up. Go down this one, we're gonna lower it all the way down to the mat. Release your feet. Take your baby cobra. Maybe lift up those hands, squeezing through your back. Exhale, set it down, coming back through our box and into our downward facing dog. 
Good. Taking that again. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, step down for float feet to hands. Inhaling, halfway lift. Exhaling, release. Inhale, rise up to mountain. Exhale, those hands at heart. Inhale, mountain. Exhale, right hand grabs left wrist, pull it over, and circle it all the way down, pull up, switch it out, left grabs right, pulling over to the left, and circling it all the way down, all the way up, dropping those elbows down, open through that heart, and inhale up to mountain, exhale through forward fold, inhaling halfway lift. Exhale, step or jump, feet into plank. Exhale, knees down, or take your full chaturanga through upward facing dog or cobra, and then back into your downward facing dog. Good, taking a few breaths here. Taking that one more time. Inhale, bend your knees. Exhale, step, jump, or float, feet to hands. Inhaling, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, rise up to mountain. And exhale, hands at heart. Inhale, to mountain. Right grabs left, pulling it over. And circling it down, last time through this sequence. And switch it out, left grabs right, pulling over to the left. And circling it down, pulling up. And dropping those elbows down, shining through your heart. Inhaling back to mountain. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, take your flow, step jump or float. Feet to plank, chaturanga. Upward facing dog or cobra, and back into that downward facing dog. Good. With an inhale, we're going to lift our right leg, three legged dog. We're going to take right knee, right tricep, tap. Exhale, send it back out. Right knee, left tricep, and tap back. Inhale, right knee comes to that nose. You're rounding that spine and that core plank. And with an exhale, setting down that right foot. That we're, This first time through, we're going to drop down that left knee. And the left hand comes down to the mat. Right arm is up. So we're in that modified twisted runner's lunge. Looking up at that top. Arm if it feels okay on your neck, or you can stay looking down at that bottom hand. And bringing that right hand to the inside of your right foot. You're going to toe heel your right foot out a little bit and open up for our modified wizard. So holding for the stretch here. Lots of options. You can use your block here if you need it to stay up higher. You can bring those elbows down to it. Or, if you need more, bring those elbows down. You can even bring your arms out if you have that kind of flexibility in your hips. This is about as far as I've got, so... Holding it here. So you got two more breaths and then returning to your hands if you took it anywhere else. One more breath and then meet me on your hands. Good. Once you're on your hands, we're going to roll out to the knife edge of that right foot. And just, you can use your right hand to kind of open up that right knee a little bit further, looking over that right shoulder. 
and hugging it back in, walking that right foot so it's in the middle of your hands, you're in that modified lunge. And then we're just going to pull back for half split. I like to come up on my fingertips and so I can come up on that heel and really stretch through. Bend back into that modified lunge. And exhale, pull back, half split. Inhale, press forward, lunge. Exhale, pull back. One more time, inhale, press forward, and exhale, hold it back here. Holding the stretch, lots of options. Again, if you need that block, you put it on the outside and just work on pulling back on your stretch. If you have a second block, you could put it um, right here. My second block is actually being the prop for holding my computer up right now, so. Just pretend like it's here. If you need more, working on bringing that nose down to your knee, you can walk your hands out. About two more breaths here. Last breath. And then pressing back into that modified lunge. And bringing that, coming to your toes, lifting up your back knee. Stepping that foot up to meet your front, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, release. Inhale, rise up to mountain. And exhale those hands down to heart. Inhale, sweep up to mountain. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Let it go. You can take your flow or just go to down dog or child's pose until you hear knee cue down dog. If you're taking your flow, step jump or float, plank. Chaturanga, upward facing dog or cobra, back into that downward facing dog. Good, this time left leg, three legged dog. Inhale, left knee, left tricep, tap, exhale, send it back out. Left knee, right tricep, tap, exhale, send it back out. Inhale, knee. To nose, round that spine, hold that core plank, and set that left foot down, dropping down that right knee, so you're in that modified lunge, and setting that right palm down, left opens up with a twist. Again, you can look up at that top arm, maybe just look straight forward, or down at that bottom hand. Whatever feels good to you. Really pressing into those hips, opening it all up. And bringing that left hand to the inside of your left foot, toe heel, foot out so it's a little bit wider. You're in uh, your modified lizard. And just holding for the stretch here. Again, remember, blocks. You can come up here if you get more out of this. Or you can drop down to those elbows. And then if you need more, remember, coming down to those forearms, elbows. If you have the flexibility to walk it out further. You are absolutely welcome to do that. Two more breaths here.
And then coming back up to those hands if you took it anywhere else. Then rolling to the knife edge of that left foot. Maybe taking that left hand, pressing open that left knee and looking over that left shoulder. It's continuing to release those hip flexors. And bringing it back in, walking that foot so it's in between your hands and you're in your modified runner's lunge. And with an exhale, press back, half split. Inhaling it forward. Exhaling half split. Inhaling it forward. Exhaling half split. One more. Inhaling it forward. And with an exhale half split. This one we're going to hold. So remember all your options. Block outside of that foot. And remember your block has different heights. So you can make this what you need it. Remember you can use one or two. If you need more, walking those fingertips out so you're working on bringing your nose to your knee. This is another one of those like pigeon for people where you really need to stay in the pose at least two to three breaths after you're ready to get out because that's when you're really working it. Got about three more breaths here. One more breath. And when you're ready, pressing back forward into that modified lunge, just holding here for a breath or two. And then tucking those right toes under, lifting up so you're in the full runner's lunge. And stepping that back foot up to meet the front. Forward fold. Inhaling halfway lift. Exhale lower down. Inhale rise up to mountain. And with an exhale closing those hands down heart center. Good. So from here. We're going to take a flow, and then we're going to take that same series, um, adding on, I'll cue the modifications, but um, what we just did, the knees down, there's going to be your modification for the poses, and then the knee up will be the full expression of the pose. So honoring your body and what it needs, if you need to take those modifications, Take them. I've seen pro yogis who've been doing yoga for longer than I've been alive have to take modifications, and it's all right. So let's do this. With an inhale, reaching arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhaling, halfway lift. Exhale, release. Take your flow or skip it and just go straight back into down dog. Remembering all of your modifications. And meeting back in down dog with an inhale, right leg lifts. Exhaling, right knee, right tricep, lift it back up. Right knee, left tricep, tap, exhale it back up. Inhaling, right knee to nose, hold. And with an exhale, setting that right foot down. Left palm stays on the ground. Twisting that right arm up, holding it here. Remembering you can always drop down that back knee and stay here. And bringing that right hand down. Good. Back in that runner's lunge. And press back into your pyramid. Another great place. To use blocks 
or just taking that half split. Inhale, bend it back forward. This time bringing right hand to the inside of your right foot, going into that full lizard. And we're just gonna rock it back and forth. Holding it still. And we're gonna walk to the left. So left toes are gonna turn forward and right toes are gonna turn forward until you are in that wide-legged forward fold. So the first time we take this here, I'm gonna give you five breaths. So lots of options to um, play with this here. I'm gonna attempt my handstand. So you can play, grab your ankles, you can walk your hands back if you are warmed up enough. You can go into your handstand. Yeah. Or you could roll out of it like that. Play around, it's all good. Coming up into it too fast. Important thing is just to laugh, right? It's not so serious. That should be about five breaths there. With an inhale, we're gonna halfway lift. Exhaling, release it down. Then we're gonna walk those hands over to the right, back into that lizard lunge. And then maybe just walking that foot out so it's a little bit more towards the um, outside of your mat. And then we're gonna take our left Foot, and we're gonna step up into yogi squat. So, yogi squat here. This is comfortable for a lot of people, uncomfortable for a lot. So, and it, mine kind of varies. The block is perfect here to bring it under, and you still get such a great stretch. You can use those elbows to press open your knees. Just breathing here. Taking one more breath. And then bringing those hands down, releasing up. Toe heel your feet back together, forward fold. Inhaling, halfway lift. Exhale, release. Inhale, rising up to mountain. And with an exhale, hands down, heart center. Inhale and mountain. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, release, taking your flow or skipping it and just meeting back in down dog. Good, from down dog, we inhale that left leg, three-legged dog, and bring left knee, left tricep, tap, and send it back up. Left knee, right tricep, tap, and send it back up. Inhaling, left knee under that nose. And with an exhale, setting it down. Holding that full runner's lunge. Right hand is down on the ground. Left arm twist up. Again, remember your modification for keeping that knee down.
Remember, you can look up at that top arm, look over to the side or down. And bringing that left hand to the outside of the left, back in that runner's lunge. And exhaling into that pyramid, remembering your block. You can use or dropping that knee down and just staying in those half splits. Whatever is best for you works for me. And rebending into that left knee. Left hand comes to the inside of your left foot. Toe heel your foot out so you're in that full lizard. And then we'll just bring it back and forth like we did on the other side. Again, pressing through that heel. And then bringing it still. And walking those hands over to the right. Toes point. Again, here you have five breaths to play with it. Maybe me just wiping out on that last and soon maybe gave you some confidence to play. If you, if you have a wall, scoot up to your wall and feel free to take that. Um, or you can just be in that fold, working your hands towards your ankles or maybe walking it back between your hands. You can use a block here too and just hold that forehead down. We have about three more breaths here. About two more breaths. One more breath. Good, returning your hands under your face if you took them anywhere else. And walking those hands back over so you're back in that wide lizard. That left foot is on the edge of the mat. And we're going to inhale, step our back foot up to meet the front in that yogi squat. Lowering it down. Holding it here. Maybe rock it side to side. One more breath. And with an exhale, release your hands down, lift your hips up, and toe heel your feet back into center. Inhaling, halfway lift. Exhale, release. Inhale, rise up to mountain. And with an exhale, hands down at heart center. Good. Taking that flow one more time through, a little bit quicker, adding in some things, taking away some things. So, on an inhale, reaching up. Exhaling, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, release. Taking that flow, or just skipping it entirely, and meeting back in downward facing dog. Good, inhale, right leg lifts. Exhale, bend your knee, under, bring it under your nose, and set that right foot down. Left hand pump, plant, right lifts. And exhale, set that right hand down, pull back into your pyramid. And re-bend into that lunge. Right hand comes to the inside, open up to a blizzard. And stepping those hands over to the center, wide-legged forward fold. Just two breaths here. Inhaling, halfway lift. Exhale, release, walking it back into your wide lizard. 
and stepping that left foot up to meet your hands. Stay here in your yogi squat or bringing hands down and practicing your crow or crane. Maybe lift one foot off at a time. Maybe you're practicing going from your crow to your tripod headstand. Just playing around here for just a couple more breaths. And coming back into your malasana, if you took your crow and hands down, lift up, inhaling halfway lift, exhale release, inhale rise up to mountain, and exhale hands down at heart center. Second side, inhale lift up, exhale and forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, release, taking that flow. Or just meeting back in your down dog. Good, inhale, left leg lifts. Inhale, bring it to your nose. And step it down. This time, right hand plants down, left twists up. And releasing that hand on the outside, pull back into pyramid. Inhale forward, bringing that foot to the outside, opening up into your lizard, and walking those hands over to the right, forward fold, wide-legged, two breaths here. And hands return to center, inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, walking back into that wide lizard. And stepping that right foot up Whoop. into Malasana. Again, stay here or play with your crow. Maybe you add on shooting back into your Chaturanga. You can just play with those. Or maybe you just sit in Malasana yogi squat with the block under you. I can get it there. Good, you got about one more breath here. And setting those hands down on the ground, lifting up, releasing your hips. Toe, heel, feet back into center, forward fold. Inhaling, halfway lift. Exhale, lower it down. Inhale, rising up in the mountain. And exhaling those hands to heart center. Good, now we're going to work just a little bit of balance. I feel like I haven't um, done that on here with you guys. In a little while, and I'm in a 300 hour uh, yoga teacher training group right now that we're doing all virtually, of course. And we did some tree this morning, and I was like, oh, I haven't done tree in forever, so let's do some tree. So start by putting all of that weight in that left foot first, completely putting all of your focus on making that your weight bearing leg and then just start I balance was good earlier I swear start maybe you just come up to the toes or you bring that foot to your calf maybe this is enough or bring that foot to the inside of your thigh you never ever ever want to put that foot on the knee you have so many different arm variations here. You can leave hands at heart center. You can grow them out if you want to do reverse namaste behind your back. That is an option as well. 
And remember, any of these, you can add your arms here, even if you stay with that foot at the calf. You don't have to be upping all your levels just to take a different variation. Most important thing here is just to breathe. And to notice what your mind is saying. One time I had a yoga teacher tell me, you go into the pose thinking your balance stinks, it's going to stink. But if you go in there saying, oh, my balance has got this, I have balance today, guess what's going to happen? You're more than likely going to have balance today. Good, releasing it down, shaking it out, maybe rolling out those ankles, and then we'll take it on the other side. So, putting all of that weight again into that right leg, really making it that foundation. Rounding down, and then again, maybe just starting with the toes down. Maybe you work your way up to your calf, and you feel pretty stable there. Bring that foot, that heel to your inner thigh, never, ever, ever on that knee. And then maybe you take a different variation with your arms and you can grow them out. You can take them behind your back in that reverse, I would say. really squeezing through that right leg. I always feel like if I really work on engaging this right thigh, my balance is so much better and I'm a lot stronger in the pose. And again, my mind tell me, you're doing this. Good, take two more breaths here. And release, shake it out, roll up those ankles. And with an inhale, reach up into mountain. And with an exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, lower down, take your last flow, meaning back in that downward facing dog, and we're going to lower our knees down and come into child's pose. You can take this child's pose um, wide with your knees wide like we did in the beginning, or you can um, Bring them in narrow. Arms can stay out in front of you, or you can bring them down by your side. Again, lots of variations just based on what your body is telling you it needs. You can also take those reverse namaste hands behind your back while you're in your child's. Maybe rock that forehead from side to side. Bring it still, tame up two more breaths. And then if you took those arms, Anywhere, bringing them out in front. 
coming up through box, and we're going to lower ourselves all the way down to the earth, taking that right cheek down, and just staying here for a breath or two. And then bringing your chin through center, going to lift up into locust. If you're ready, you can go ahead and grab onto your feet and go into your full bow, or you can just stay in your locust. And release this time, take left cheek down. And again, returning that chin to center. And again, lifting up into locus or into that bow. Got two more breaths here. Really squeezing through that back, really engaging through those shoulders. And with an exhale, set that cheek down, favorite side, just windshield wiper your feet side to side. Maybe switching cheeks if you're a little OCD like me, so like you need to be nice and even. And then bringing still, hands return, pushing yourself back up and over into a seat. And bringing those legs straight out in front of you. We're just going to take a seated forward fold. So inhale, reach your arms up. And with an exhale, fold it forward, bringing that nose down to your knees. Remember, you can keep your knees bent as much as you need to, to make that stretch work. And then if you want to, you can work on like one cheek at a time, working yourself back. Or you can stay completely bent. And rolling it back up one vertebra at a time. Here it is all over the place. Say, all right, bringing those feet down, arms come out, slowly lowering, engaging through that core, lowering yourself all the way down. And we're going to take two bridge or wheels. So you have opportunity to work on either and inhale, lifting up into that bridge. Work on squeezing with your thighs, bringing those knees in. Not, try not to let them go out wide. And you can work those arms under you. We have one more breath till we lower. And release it down, one bird right at a time. Windshield, wipe your knees side to side. And bring it still. Again, lift up into bridge or take your wheel. Two more breaths here. Last breath. And lower yourself down one vertebrae at a time. Give your knees a hug in, rock it side to side. And take a full wind moving pose. Knees come into nose. Nice big squeeze. And exhale it, release it down into your Shavasana. Remember, Shavasana is another one of those um, 
poses that can look however you want it to. If you don't feel like laying down and you would rather just take a few mindful moments of sitting with your feet crossed, do that here. The important part of this is just to let your body soak down, relax completely. Taking a few still moments before you continue on with your day. And I encourage you to try not to skip this part of Shavasana, this part of the practice. Just because, you know, it's easier to do from home. It's easier to find a reason to move on to the next thing or to just not take the time for yourself. So I encourage you to just take the next couple of minutes just for you to finish your practice. Just like we did in the beginning, take that full body scan. Scan from the top of your head to the bottom of your toes. Just see how your body feels. Breathing into any areas that maybe still feel tight. Or you feel like you're holding on to anything. And just breathe into those areas. And then with an exhale, just release and let it go. Inhale. Exhale, release. Again, inhale. And exhale, release. When you're ready, go ahead and start to wiggle your fingers and toes, rolling out your wrists and ankles, nod your head side to side. And then coming into full stillness. And then reaching arms above your head, just take a nice long body stretch. Reach your arms above your head. And then when you're ready, turning on to your favorite side, hugging your knees into your chest, into a fetal position. Taking these last couple of breaths in this resting pose. And when you're ready, pushing yourself up into a gentle seated posture. Again, remembering that this can look like feet crossed. Your legs can be straight out in front of you. Just doing whatever's comfortable for you. And with an inhale, we're going to reach arms all the way up, gathering up all this good energy you've created and bringing palms to heart. I thank you guys so much for showing up today. Um, 
community and presence means everything. And even though we have to do this virtually right now, it still means the world that together we bow and say namaste. Um, so yeah, just I thank you guys again for being here today, for showing up, um, you know, navigating when everything looks right now looks like right now. Um, definitely staying virtual for the next couple of weeks until we know a little bit more about what everything is going on. So I look forward to seeing you virtually on your mat again soon. Have a great day. Thanks guys.